Hello. In this video, Sneer and me will show how to use the new DataGuard group resource option instead of the DataGuard association resource to create multiple standby databases using the OCI tool. This enhancement provides the ability to create and manage multiple local and remote standby databases that links to the primary database. This provides flexibility for both data protection and disaster recovery. Local standby databases help you minimize data loss. In this case, a standby database is in the same region as the production primary database, and it's ideal for failover scenarios. So offering zero data loss for local failures, such as database cluster or availability domain failures. Application failover impact is reduced in this case, as applications continue operating without the performance overhead of communicating with a remote standby in a remote region. Remote standby databases offer protection against full regional failures. Remote or cross-region standby databases are located in a completely different region to the primary. This is typically used for disaster recovery, but can also be used as well for offload read-only query uh, processing, just like a local standby could be. This enhancement that's been announced allows the creation of up to six standby databases for each primary database configured via the OCI tooling. You can enhance the configuration by adding another standby database for testing purposes, leveraging snapshot read-write standby capabilities. Currently, creating a standby database associated with another standby database, so Cascade standbys, is not supported. Now, Snail is going to take you through a demo to show how to create a local standby and a remote standby connected to the same primary database using the new DataGuard group resource functionality. So here are the environment details. We can have our primary database in the OCI Amsterdam region. And first we're gonna create a local uh, regional standby uh, in Amsterdam. We will then create another standby database, but this is gonna be remote and it's gonna be in the uh, OCI Frankfurt region. So on the screen, we can see the uh, details such as the database names we're using, the database unique names, and the database roles that we're going to configure. Thank you, Rob. We shall now see the demo. So we will first start by adding a local region standby database. So you go to the VM cluster on XRDBD. Select the database. So if you see here, the data guard status is currently not enabled. This is my database unique name and my database home and uh, the database uh, version details. Go to data guard association. I'm adding the standby by clicking on the add standby. So if you see here, use the new data guard group resource option, which has been newly added for your multi standby databases. So I'm selecting this option over here. Then I'm selecting my Exadata infrastructure for ExaDBD. I'm selecting the VM cluster that I want to create the uh, local region standby database. So I'm selecting the active data card. Uh, currently, you can select the maximum performance async option. Uh, once your database is created, you can then change it to maximum availability with sync. So I'm choosing my database uh, other details like the home and the passwords. Okay, so you can see here that the database is being created and the database association is now as data guard group. So this is my primary details and you are my standby database that's being created. So I'm going to my standby database that is being created. Okay, so this is being provisioned. So I go to the data card group. You can see the details primary and standby. Uh, go to the work request and here you can see 
that the create standby database is in progress and currently it is doing the rechecking uh, for the preparation of the standby database. So you can monitor the log messages over here. So as you can see, it is now configuring the standby on the target cluster. It is currently now registering the new standby on primary and other standby databases. So this is our first standby that we are uh, putting in the new resource group. Okay, so the work request is now completed. You can check the database details. So we have created uh, the standby database in the other VM cluster. So you can again go to the data uh, you can go to the data guard group and uh, see the details listed here. So this is a primary database. Let's go to the primary database. Okay, click on the data guard group details. So we have now successfully created the local region standby database. So now let's add the remote region standby database. So this is our current configuration with the local standby database from the Amsterdam. So now I'm creating uh, the remote region database in the Frankfurt region. Okay, so again in the data guard group, uh, we click on the add standby database. We are selecting the region Frankfurt, select the AD, select the infrastructure and uh, select your VM cluster details. We are creating an active data card. Um, again, the protection mode and transport type is read only. Uh, it's at maximum performance and async. This is my unique name that I'm considering now. Uh, put the sys password and the TD wallet password and click on add standby database. So you can see this now. Uh, from the UI console, we are able to add multiple uh, standby databases and as Rob has mentioned in the slides, we can add up to six standby databases. Okay, so as seen here in the Frankfurt region, that is in our remote region, the standby database is being provisioned. And you can verify the data guard uh, group details. Uh, you can then go to your work request and monitor this. So you can check the log messages. Currently it is preparing for standby on the source database. It is now configuring the standby on target cluster. It is now registering the new standby on primary and the other standby databases. So it would also register this on the local standby database that we have created in Amsterdam. So as you can see, uh, this is created successfully. Here are the associated resources.
So this is the remote standby that we have created in the Frankfurt region. So we have one primary and we have created multiple standby database, one in the local region and one in the remote region. Okay, and from the primary, you can see this, the data card group. Okay, that's it in the demo. And thank you for watching.